I am PhD in linguistics and I am a co-founder of Mujeres Tech to develop more, uh, change the radio of female presence in, in digital sector. In fact, seven years ago, I, I was here in Big Data in Spain to, to see how can monetize my PhD about linguistics, applied linguistics. And what uh, was amazing for me, because two reasons, because there is uh, a few women here in Big Data Spain. Now there is more women in AIIC. There is a little diversity of identity in gender. And also the, there, is, there wasn't a, a, a diversity of knowledge because I, I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't see any talk, any keynote about unstructured data focused on linguistics. It was a pretty, pretty uh, shock it for, uh, with me. And now, for me, it's, it's, it's great to be here because I, uh, I'm going to show you that uh, linguistic people, uh, uh, we are, are now, now a very, very, very uh, key profile in a lot of companies of artificial intelligence. So, you know, you work, maybe you work in data, I suppose, and uh, I guess, and you know that 80%, uh, according to Gartner, uh, of the data of companies are unstructured data. So this, uh, what is unstructured? Structure, you perfectly know. But this, this unstructured data, it, the nature of this unstructured data, most of the, is, uh, is linguistics, is linguistics. And um, we are going to uh, review uh, of, of listen about uh, types of artificial intelligence. Uh, as Russell and Norby said, that human machine, that's we develop linguistic people code machine machine, and computational linguistic profiles are coding uh, for human to machine. So there's a system that think uh, like humans and systems that act as humans. So they is, is in the developing uh, teams, they need a uh, humanist profile, so that anthropology is uh, psychologist, linguistic. And machine machine, I'm not going to, 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 to focus on that in, the, in this keynote. So when we talk about linguistics, this, uh, this is not binary system. There's super, super complex system. If we see in, in here, this is the core linguistic, the sounds. All starts by physics, sounds. And structures and sense, words. And I use all these uh, all, all these things I use for any reason, for any communicational end. And if you see, there is a lot of a lot of areas of knowledge that I have to use linguistic, and if a lot of fields about linguistic, and I'm going to focus in my keynote in this one and in this one. But if you see, linguistic, we are forensics too. We can work in uh, CS uh, and physic. <laughs> so when we work. Uh, in artificial intelligence, I, I, I don't know if you know Nuria Oliver. I recommend you to, to read this speech, this amazing speech, because he, he, he invites us uh, to this the, the speech is Inteligencia Artificial, Ficción, Realidad y Sueños, Artificial Intelligence, Fictions, Reality and Dreams, that talk about the, the needs, uh, the need of, of now, the, 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 the have the knowledge, scientific knowledge and humanistic knowledge, and share all this knowledge. And she talked about what is the artificial intelligence versus human intelligence. And if you read all the bullets, uh, all the bullets are linked about linguistics, semantics. Uh, natural language processing, how to express doubts, how to express inference, how to... So there is the, 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 the challenge. And she, she expressed about semantics. And this is the, the core of uh, and who works with the artificial intelligence, 
No, and who works with the people too, because it's, it's, it's hard. Because we can get uh, semantic, we can get insights from the sound. If I say, Psst, if I use Psst, in a call center, if someone call me and say, Psst, <laughs> there's sense in this expression, in this sound expression, words, sentence, paragraph, all have meaning in every level of linguistic level. And also context and knowledge of the world, cultural knowledge. I can link this utterance with a cultural uh, understanding. And what about, this is the, the, the principal challenge, Figura figurative language. What about metaphor, metonymy, uh, onomatopoeia, personification, verbal jokes, all these, these things that they know are literally, the people, uh, it's hard for, for some people get this, this, uh, this, uh, this figurative language. How can teach the, the machine to understand? So for that, we have to understand how the language is works, how, the ling how we think, how we create, and how, how we get the world, and how we analyze the world through the concepts. Who first, who, who the, the first linguistic uh, who talked about this was Ferdinand de Saussure. There's not Chomsky. Chomsky is basing on a lot of theses about, uh, from, from Ferdinand de Saussure. And he started to talk about concept, signified, and sound, always, the representation. But, okay, I have a three, there's the, the image, and three, sound, and three, meaning. Okay, there's a lot of, but sound is everywhere. Sound starts in everywhere. And sound is, is now who, who work in, in, in call centers, there is, there is very, very, very insights in through the voice, and um, making a, a little, a little stop in the in the conversation. I want to talk about bias in voice. Bias. If you see this, uh, this, um, this research, you can see that the voice there is bias. We can get bias in the voice if we in this. Uh, uh, preference of leaders with masculine voice, and there is a, a in, in this study, ask uh, several uh, mm, several people about the, the the voice of women, and they f and they the, they say that the the leaders of the voice are linked about masculine tones. So that's thinking about it and the context. How can Mm, how can develop the context, how can see the con context, can understand the context, and nonverbal expression. How we use gifts, because the, the gifts supplies our nonverbal expression. And, and that's very interesting, and we, we can understand the gifts, we can understand and give meaning the gifts. And pragmatics. We work in a society, and we work with rules, and in pragmatics, in the use of language, there are working several principles, several maxims, as for example, politeness and cooperation. In the, in the gift behind me, there's not any cooperation. But in linguistics, in, in conversation, there are several, as quant, maximum of quantity, maximum of quality, maximum of uh, manner, different maxims that I, I, I invite you to see, to read something about this. Pragmatics, how I interact with the world, how can I interact with, with people. And we know that, we know, I, I can, I, I, at, the, at this moment, from, from the beginning and now, I try to show you how complex is our code, our, our human code, that is, uh, that is the, the key of the difference about a, a lot of species. We can, uh, and we in, in, in uh, computational linguistics and natural language processing, any speech, any text, using software as OCR, SER, different kinds of software, I can get any kind of data, image, sound, whatever, and, and get the text. 
I used the text to understanding in different levels of linguistics, and I can generate also another text. That is the, 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 the best challenging, the, the chal uh, it's challenging to, to, to get that. But there are uh, companies, as for example, Narrativa. Narrativa is producing 50,000 news per day using artificial intelligence for, uh, for us, tw uh, 20 minutos. So now the challenge is to get a machine to talk, speak, understand, and make me feel like a human. As for example, her. If you see, I recommend, if you haven't seen this movie, I recommend this movie. Because this is the, 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 the there is now, he, he, he fall in love with a machine, with a machine. And when you realize that there is this machine, he feels so bad, so sad. But it's, it's the, the principal challenge. And how we work with all this complex system, as for example, in companies as Tiger, focus on semantic technologies, we use, as we say, symbolic artificial intelligence. We try to define, produce models, focus on uh, this symbolic approach, this focus on symbolism uh, behind of the linguistic, any level of linguistic, focus above all semantics. So, because how, this is knowledge engineer, this is how we manage the knowledge, uh, knowledge that comes from every data, uh, every kind of data, call centers, emails, uh, or legal documents, wherever. But our, how we acquisition, the reality acquisition or linguistic acquisition is through, through association. In fact, our memory works with linking concepts suddenly, and this is the reason that we work and working with semantics is easier to work with machine understand several, uh, several uh, data, unstructured data. So as I told you, we work with different kinds of sources of data. We don't care about the nature of this data because we, we use another different software to, to convert this data in, in, in text. And once I, I have uh, this text, we uh, start to make in ontologies. Yes, we are going to, I know that you know ontologies, but I'm going to uh, uh, I, I stop a little bit uh, 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 soon. But as you see, semantic technologies, I use open data. I use a lot of kind of data. The humans, the, we, we live in the, the story of the, of, the, of the humanity story that we produce a lot of data. Any speaker with a smartphone is producing a lot of data. And there is a lot of data, open data, that are linked. And I can have knowledge graph. And this is knowledge graph are very useful and it's free. But we have to produce the software to, to connect in all this data. As I told you, there is different kinds of uh, analyze the reality, analyze the semantic. You know, there's different steps. Uh, we have vocabularies, okay, lists of words, okay, is useful. In fact, in artificial intelligence, it starts developing for a translator, translator area, so, and tags. The following step is tags. Okay, these words I'm going to uh, start to put in, in some group with a lexical semantic reason or for semantic fields or any, any reason. Another step up is taxonomies. Is okay, there's groups that mean something and they are linking about some reality. And thesaurus, these groups, they are connected. They are linking uh, like a network of words uh, based on semantics, based on morphology, uh, like the form of the word uh, or the, 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 the base of the word. Whatever reason, they are linked. And ontologies, there are smart thesaurus. As for example, if we are working with mortgage for uh, any uh, banking solution, if we talk about the concept mortgage, there are linked about 
a, a lot of, certainly the machine is going to propose you a lot of concept linked about mortgages, for example, credit, loan, or whatever. So it's where we work. As for example, we've, we, we start to, as, as uh, birds, they lie, eggs, half eat, can. It's not only that they use the, okay, what, what, I s what we have seen uh, with the friend in Associates. Okay. No, no, there's linking about one reality, the reality of this concept, who I which is linked with a, not a lot of concepts. And it's very useful uh, for marketing. In marketing, they are uh, they are using uh, for a uh, for a while. Uh, in fact, it is Acker. This is in, in from from my PhD. So the Acker is talking about the the conceptual brand map of M McDonald's. If you see McDonald's family social involvement, there is not only products as we see. Okay, McDonald's hamburgers. No, there is linked is linked the brand with a lot of concept, emotional, aspirational, uh, a lot of concepts that the McDonald's is linked. So. How we get that? How we work in a uh, tiger with uh, sharing these two two approaches, this symbolic, because we have to understand the data, to a structured data using neural networks and using categorize the entities, structure the entities, and see the grammar inside the entities, see the grammar uh, inside the text that we are extracting or we are working with, and we uh, start to, to give value here because we have our own ontologies, we have our own knowledge graph. In fact, we are focused on banking, finance, legal, because we have, we have software with ontologies, global ontologies, general ontologies, and for any case, uh, business case, we develop a specific ontology and knowledge graph and rules, because we have our own algorithms, all our uh, artificial intelligence uh, focus on that. So we work with that. We work with the ontologies, as I say, you, uh, natural language understand, because I we have uh, uh, profiles like uh, natural language profiles, as for example, uh, computational linguistics and natural language engineers. So. Focus on that, focus on understanding grammars and machine learning for what, for what I told you. And what we work, we work with that. We don't care about the data, the nature of data, because we use software for this data transformation. And we, our value is here, is with the natural language symbolic rules, and we use this uh, sharing these words, reference detection, lexical parsers, different kinds of uh, of, um, of softwares that help us to categorize and help us to to uh, to to make to see the grammar uh, behind the the, the the data, and also we extract the data and we uh, make sure that data quality, because we use we create a, our own cleanser for OCR. We use a, we are developing uh, we are developing uh, a, a, a software cleanser for OCR. So and we consolidate the data. In fact, I'm going to show you a sample of Banco Santander how we match the data, as for example, or n uh, with the IT company with Registro Nacional Registro na uh, Mercantil, in which we make the match and we consolidate this data. And also, if I, if the user upload the ID, upload another legal document, we we match the different data data points, and we normalize the data. How how does means? Uh, there is different a, a lot of kinds of to express the data. For example, uh, talk about invoice. Uh, sometimes the 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 the, tot the amount is expressed by verbal or expressed with numbers. So the client asks us, "Okay, I wanna I, uh, I wanna extract this information only with, uh, with this in in this way." Okay, we extract. We understand the machine understand that is the amount 
in a strike like w w like uh, with 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 a number. This is a, a sample of Banco Santander, what we do on boarding, digital onboarding. The user uh, uh, upload a deed of constitution, upload power of attorney and company ID, upload, and we process that. We process the unstructured data. As for example, I'm going to show you the power attorney. There's a, the following uh, power attorney, there's a, a 10 pages and we extract in two minutes half, we read and we understand, we extract the information and we can see and we can extract the apoderado the, who, who has the power to open the account and we say, okay, or cow, okay? And we send this information and we, through API, we connect with the system of the client. In two minutes and, and 30 minutes, in two minutes and 30 uh, seconds, if, if the machine reads, understand, extract, extract 150 data points, that the, the data points that the clients ask us for, the, in the, for, 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 for this process. So when I talk about uh, with our, uh, some clients that, oh, okay, I have, I have uh, well, there's not too much cases, but I have, uh, mm, um, I have money to, to, st to start uh, 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 working on artificial intelligence and working with uh, automation. Okay, okay. Let's start to, to, to think about if you need that, if it has sense. It, it has, if this has sense, you have to focus on, you have a team working in the same tax, in the same repetitive tax and boarding tax, reading the same documents, a lot of stuff of documents, above all legal or admin uh, documents, you want to save cost and you want to uh, save, uh, 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 avoid, you want to avoid uh, human uh, mistakes and you want to make it scalable and, uh, and digitalize your process. So you can, you can uh, automatize this process with uh, using natural language processing. Because for us, it's easier to train in the machine. We use, for, for, for training the machine, we use only three mounts. Because we have ontologies, we have knowledge graph, we have teams that working in multilingual uh, solutions. And if we need to develop our solutions in, in, in some new language, as for example, Korean, we get a team of natural language engineers and ling computational linguists. So, we work on, on a lot of uh, these issues and a lot of uh, things about that. And so this is the reason that now we are focused on automation. If we, we can, if a machine can do that, why are you going to spend a lot of, a lot of time? And now this is the moment that uh, there is a lot of uh, people who ask me, okay, there's, you are going to automatize a lot of work, so and what happened with the workers? And I say, okay, maybe the workers, maybe no, and I'm sure that the workers, the real talent of the, their, these workers, I focus on another things that there are more value for the company, as for example, customer service, strategy, creativity, and, uh, uh, managing teams, and all these things, and all these things that we don't have time if I have to to read a lot of papers or working on these things. So now it's, it's time to, to use your people's skills and let the, the, the artificial uh, intelligence people who work with the natural language processing and help you to, to automatize and help you to read faster, easy, and make your life easy. So thank you very much for all and have a nice day. Thank you, Christina. So uh, now we have time for questions. Are there any questions in the audience? Yeah, there's one over here. So we'll bring a microphone around to you. Hi. Hi. Uh, I would like to ask, um, how far did you get with uh, idioms and how uh, pure your input has to be? 
concerning that people make mistakes, they uh, they are dyslexic people yes. also, mm -hmm. and uh, people who have uh, some speech problems. Mm -hmm. So do you uh, uh, have some mechanism to pure the data before uh, it even gets in your system to work with? I'm sorry, I'm not native English, so. Okay, <laughs> no worries. Uh, thank you for asking that, because uh, yes, of course, we work with the linguistic profiles, and people who work with linguistic, we know that there is a lot of uh, there is things like that you you say uh, dyslexical or as we call diatopics varieties of language is not the same Spanish from Spain, Spanish from Mexico. This different uh, d different I I we assume as different. Uh, projects, but uh, in, in the case of your question, we work with the their different. We work with the what is the end of the communication end, and what is the what the we work with the the grammar. So there we link this item, these different expressions with different expression right and wrong, and the machine is going to propose this is the cleanser, the cleanser on the another uh, algorithms that we use to propose the right the right the the norm normative the normative use of language but we work with uh, with that sorry so you have uh, different models for every idiom did I get it we, we uh, Yes, we have uh, different teams for every idiom, yeah. is yeah, what I told you. If we this. have, if uh, for example, uh, we, we get a Siri B last July, and a Korean, there's an investor who, 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 was in from, who is in from Korea. He asks us to, to develop our solutions in Korean. We develop our solutions in one month because we get a team with a WAF idiom on language. Uh, so, so and, and for, for the case that uh, working, our work is very, very super, super uh, supervised. Super. You know, there is, there is linguistic people, uh, computational linguistic, who were training the machine very, very, very close to the machine and very, very supervised this process. So this is the reason why we, we, we get 80% of accuracy on uh, uh, unstructured data. Now in Santander, we are getting 97% in unstructured data because in the, in the training phase, fa phase, we have a team that working very, very, very close, supervising all the process, all the entities, training the machine, you know, very close. Yes, the numbers are very impressive because I'm a linguist, so I know the thematics. But um, the most important, um, uh, how to say, it, uh, in my question, do, do you recycle the 80% of the one uh, of the model of, of, uh, for one idiom to another, or? Ma or, or the models are um, totally independent. So do, do you have a, a network like in Spanish language? No, we... And, we and and sorry. Sorry, so sorry, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. So you have uh, uh, standard Spanish, m one model for that, and you have some idiom or, or uh, dialect. Dialect mm -hmm. is, is better. So uh, you expand that model. This is the base, but, but you expand. Or do you make models for uh, this dialect, this dialect? Yes, this dialect, this dialect yeah. is, okay. is what I Thank told you. you before. We assume every dialect with every, uh, every project, different project, but because it's not the same training the machine using legal documents from Mexico that using legal documents from Spain. So uh, we have to focus above all in lexical levels because we use a lot of words, in fact, syntax level because we we use the, the grammar sometimes in 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 uh, we we <laughs> we use in generatives in generative uh, uh, schools that the, the, the they understand better that they move we move uh, objects and 
the verb and, and all these things. So, but we, we focus, we assume different uh, project with the, is linked with every idiom, every dialect, every language. We develop our solutions in Chinese, Germ uh, French, Spanish, Spanish uh, from Spain, Spanish, Mexican, Spanish, uh, well, uh, Chinese, Korean, and, and the Japanese. We have uh, a lot of uh, uh, our solutions in a lot of languages. And as I told you, if you propose Danish, for example, we develop our solution in Danish in one month. One month and a half, yeah. <laughs> Great. Any more questions? There don't seem to be any more. So then another round of applause for Christina. Thank, Thank you so much. You.